In this video, I'm going to show you as quick as possible how you can add graphics like this to your TikToks so that it makes it much easier for your audience to read it. It makes the video more engaging for your audience and it allows people who aren't watching with sound, which is more often than you might think, to actually understand what's going on on your video and stay on it for longer, helping the video get pushed out to more people, growing your streaming audience. So let's jump in. I'm going to be using Premiere Pro for this example, as that is the editing tool that most people use. You can get a really cheap Premiere Pro subscription. Now, obviously, TikTok does this itself. It'll add automatic captions for you. But if you want to create better TikTok videos, you're probably editing them yourself or have an editor who does this in Premiere Pro. But if you're watching this video, you're going to be editing yourself. So I'm in Premiere Pro right here. So you can see here, I have this video that I've edited. This was, uh, I think it was an explanation on how to improve your mic quality. So I've edited this video here. I've put all the clips, the zoom ins, uh, some text here that I want to add. I've added all of that in first. So you want to have your final kind of draft done before you add the text in, because once you add the text in, if you start like cutting bits out, it doesn't kind of sync with it. You have to do it again. So once you get to this stage, what you want to do is come up here to window, come down to text, select text, and you will get this tab right here. You can see it says captions. Now what we want to do first is transcribe our sequence. You want to go ahead and select audio on track. You can do this as whatever audio track has your main audio, your speaking audio. Sometimes if you're doing something like a podcast, you might have two tracks. So you want to select mix right here, which means it's going to add all of them in. So what we're going to do is just click transcribe. That's pretty much all you have to do. And what this is going to do is scan your video, scan your audio and give you a transcription of all of that text in there. Now, it's not perfect. It doesn't give you everything exactly. It's pretty damn good, but there might be like three or four spelling mistakes throughout the text. You can see this section here where I said simply open up OBS or Streamlabs. It's put in Oberstar instead of OBS or so you can see how that sounds similar. It's pretty good at picking it up. You can simply just come in here, double click it and you can actually edit this text right here. So I'm just going to change this to OBS. I'm not going to go through the whole thing and change it all. But obviously you want to you want to have, you know, a really good transcription, make sure there's no spelling mistakes in there. It just looks unprofessional. So once you've done that, you simply click on this create captions button right here. And then you can leave this essentially as the default stuff. You don't really need to do anything else with it. Click on create. And again, it's going to take a couple of seconds and it's going to spit out these captions along your timeline right here. It appears in yellow and you can see here these match the exact text that's being said at this section in the video. And it actually works really well. It puts them in the exact place. It's pretty damn good. So once you've done that, you might want to change the text. That's kind of the first thing I see people looking to change. So highlight all of your text here and then go to your essential graphics tab. You might have that. I've got it up on the left here. You might have it over to the right. If you can't see it, go to window and add in essential graphics, which is right here. And then it'll pop up on your screen somewhere. So you can come over here. The text is quite small right now. I'm going to bump that up maybe to, you know, about 72 or so there. It's maybe a little big pull it down to like 66. And then we can change this, you might want to do it in bold. Again, it makes it a little bigger. I also like to do everything in capital. So I'm going to click the all caps button right here. I just think that looks so much better. And let's make it just a little bit smaller right here. So that it's on three lines. I kind of like that. So that's why I'm going to leave it. You might want to change your font, you might want to change the colors and whatnot. The next thing I see people looking to mainly do is highlight specific words. So if you want to change the color to make a specific word stand out, for example, here, does your stream microphone sound terrible? I might want to highlight this sound terrible section right here. Once that's highlighted, just come over to again, the essential graphics tab, come down to fill and change that to whatever color you want. You can do the standard yellow here that you see all over TikTok. And again, you might want to, you know, increase the size of this bit of text just to give it a little bit more animation. So if we make that bigger, that should, oh, I think we need to highlight it right here. Let's just highlight it, make it a little bigger. That looks better. It's more easy to see. And then you've got this nice, bold text that stands out and it's captioned all the way through so that all of your viewers can go ahead and see exactly what they need to see. And they don't have to have their sound on. It's going to make your videos, your TikTok so much better, your reels, your whatever YouTube shorts, everything's a short now. So you're going to need to do this. If you like this video, Hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you're new here. Check out getonstream.com. We did just release overlay packs 
on our website. So you can check that link down below in the description as well. Currently for the launch, they're actually pay whatever you want. So you can go ahead and pay whatever you want for them packs down there. Check them out and I'll see you guys in the next video.